at the West Hartford Hall High School. The Blue Unis, home with Southington, a showdown between two and one football teams. Southington's defense is big right there. Aaron Borkowski with the sack. Hard to score. Now, how about this play? Is this a great fake or what? The running back, Jackson Bracken, he doesn't have the ball. It's a quarterback keeper. Wow, did I get burned on this play. It's a whole touchdown, extra points, no good, 6-0. Here's the final minute of the half. Southington quarterback, Carmine DiBenintendo to Blake Stevens, end zone, touchdown, extra no good, 6-6 at the half. Hall wins it with a field goal, 9-6, they're 3-1, Southington, 2-2. Two two. The how do you news and the pleased to meet you for Daniel Hand and the academics of Hill House. This one played in New Haven and the Hand Tigers really start to really play well. The defense outstanding. Kenneth Pompilli with a nice play to stop the outside run by Hill House. Meanwhile, special teams for Hand setting up the offense. Owen Prescar with a solid return. Now you want solid? You got to talk about that Hill House defense. Doing a nice job all game long, keeping the academics close. But Hand's able to put some points on the board. John Healy's a good field goal kicker. He bangs one in. Daniel Hand takes this one. A shutout to boot. 17-0 the final. Well, fans braving the elements in the stands tonight as Middletown hosted Windsor, a CCC matchup. Warriors showing up offensive firepower. Sean Adams, handoff. Has the blockers, picks up a nice game, finally tackled there. That leads to this. Next play, Adams finishes the job. Touchdown. It's an early Windsor lead. All right, later in the game, instead of earlier, more from the Warriors. Quarterback A.J. Robinson drops back, finds Joe Manning on the screen. Look at that effort from Manning right there. Bobs and weaves his way across the field. He's gone. A long touchdown for Windsor. The Warriors go on to meet Middletown. 27 to 7. They're 3 and 1. Middletown is 0 and 3. How about the deluge in Hamden? Woo! Indeed, Joe. Didn't seem to bother the Green Dragons, though, of Hamden. Fired up. First possession inside their own one. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, yeah, they do. Justin Chapman throwing deep to Julian Barajas. Staying on his feet deep into Brantford territory. Ah, uh, but the Brantford defense got tough. Denied any points there, but the next possession for Hamden. The O-line tearing some big holes open for Andrew Revels. Taking this one down to the Brantford eight and setting himself up. Next play, another big hole. And a touchdown for the Green Dragons. That turned out to be the winning score because that Hamden defense got the shutout at home 20 to nothing over Brantford. That's your final there. And our F and F band of the week, it's Hill House. And to nominate your school, just send us a message to sports3 at WFSB.com.